Hey everyone, this video is going to talk about lab 13 for this class. Now this week we've been talking about graphs and so the lab here is going to be asking you to add a new method into the graph class. The method that you're going to be asked to add is one to check whether the graph that's being represented is a complete graph or not. Remember a complete graph is one where there is an edge connecting every pair of nodes in the graph. And so you're going to check whether the graph that is being represented has that property or not. Is there a connection between every pair of nodes that exists in the graph? If there is, you'll return true. If there's not, if there's an edge missing, making it not complete, you'll return false. Now the graph that we're dealing with here is based on an adjacency matrix, and that's going to be important because that's where the edge information is stored. So you need to loop over this adjacency matrix and check whether the complete property is true or not. So let's look at the uh, lab page for this so I can go over just one or two more things. All right, so here on the lab page, we have first of all a picture of a complete graph and notice that there is an edge between every pair of nodes. This is what you're testing for. If it looks like this, you'll say true. If there's a edge missing, at least one edge missing, you'll say false, it's not a complete graph. So to test this, you can start with this complete.java file. This contains an adjacency matrix based graph class, which has the methods we talked about for inserting and removing edges and doing that kind of thing. And then it also has this empty method called complete. This is what you're supposed to be working on. So you should fill in this method so it actually does the computation and returns either true or false. For testing this, I gave you a main that builds a graph of five edges, just like the picture on the lab page for this. And at first it connects all of the edges. So it connects zero to one, zero to two, zero to three, zero to four, one to two, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to three to four. And then it tests the complete method. So at first, when you call it, it should return complete. It should print out the complete message because this is a complete graph at first, all of the edges are connected. But then we call the remove edge method and remove one of the edges from the graph. Then we call the complete method again. And so at this point it should print not complete. So when you run your program, it should print complete and then not complete if you've done everything properly. And so like usual, you should submit this on the Canvas page for this assignment. And also like usual, let me know if you have any questions or run into any problems. Thanks.